I'm Dr. Ramakrishna Prasad, an HIV AIDS and viral hepatitis B and C specialist practicing in Bangalore. The therapy or treatment of hepatitis B infection sometimes is not straightforward. Um, an infected individual may uh, experience uh, multiple phases of the hepatitis B virus infection over his or her lifetime. There are some individuals who are in a phase which is called the tolerant phase or immune tolerant phase. These are typically younger individuals who have been exposed to the virus uh, at a very young age, typically from their mother at the time of birth. These individuals, if their blood is checked for the level of the hepatitis B virus, typically have very high levels of the hepatitis B virus. However, their liver functions and liver enzymes such as SGOT or, and SGPT or uh, also called AST and ALT might be normal. These individuals uh, are in a phase called the tolerant phase or immune tolerant phase. Many times we watch them without necessarily starting them on any antiviral medications. In some other individuals, their immune system reacts to the uh, hepatitis B viral infection and uh, these individuals are in a phase called the active phase. When we look at the um, liver enzyme levels, that is the SGOT and SGPT, also called the AST and ALT levels, they might be elevated or high. Um, many times, uh, one considers starting antiviral therapy in these individuals. Um, and the choice of antiviral therapy, which could either be an in injection um, in the form of pegylated interferon or could be oral tablets such as tenofovir or enticovir or some other options, are typically are best taken in consultation with someone uh, with expertise or experience in treating hepatitis B infection. There are many other individuals who um, are in a phase which is called the inactive phase. In these individuals, the hepatitis uh, B virus level might be low and their liver enzymes might be normal. Once again, these are individuals who we typically tend to monitor or watch. But once again, as I mentioned before, some of these decisions may not be straightforward and are best taken in consultation with, uh, with a physician with experience or expertise in treating hepatitis B. Um, finally, there are uh, some individuals who might have hepatitis B infection but also have a complication of hepatitis B infection um, such as cirrhosis of the liver or liver cancer or liver failure. Um, these individuals are best managed by uh, someone with expertise in liver disease or a hepatologist. While I've spoken about this, it's also important to know um, that fortunately, there are several other individuals who might be exposed, uh, typically if they're exposed as adults, who may spontaneously clear the hepatitis B virus um, on account of their immune system. This is uh, referred to as spontaneous clearance. And if you are found to be uh, one of these lucky individuals, you may not need any treatment at all. Um, this is the way hepatitis uh, B virus infection is managed. Um, once again, my advice would be if you uh, have been diagnosed with a chronic hepatitis B infection, please meet with someone with experience or expertise in managing hepatitis B infection and uh, 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 collectively in consultation with uh, this physician, um, uh, you can take decisions about your treatment.